In this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to add counter space in your RV bathroom. A place that I think you can organize and maximize the space the best because it's the space that is the smallest, but you have the most things in, is your RV bathroom. While I know I said I was gonna show you to how to add counter space in your RV bathroom, you can't really add anything else more than what you may already have, but I am gonna show you how to maximize the space that you do have in your RV bathroom, and I'm gonna give you my tips and tricks on all the ways to make it feel bigger. So the first item that I found that makes you add counter space to your RV bathroom is this. It is a silicone mat. It goes over the sink and you can lay like your hot tools on this so that you're not laying them on your countertop and burning them. And also it turns the area where the sink is into actual counter space. And this is super small, it folds up it can hang on a hook somewhere. It can go in a cabinet. It can go under the sink. There's so many places you can put it because it folds up so small, but this works perfect if you like to put your makeup on in the bathroom and there is no counter space to put your makeup. Whenever you're doing your hair and you have hot tools and you don't want to lay them on the counter and possibly burn them, you can use this. Another thing that really helps you feel like you have more counter space in your RV bathroom is to get everything off the counter. I know that sounds like, well, great. If I don't put it on the counter, where is it going to go? Which we're going to talk about that later in the video. But having stuff laid around on your counter space makes the space feel even smaller. I had a thing behind our sink and when I pulled it up, I had it down with nano tape and it messed up the countertop. Took, I took clear Gorilla Glue and pushed the countertop where it was coming up back down. And then I think I'm gonna just paint it a little bit, the paint, so that it blends back in. And then I'm gonna get some marine sealer and seal back over it so that it doesn't mess up. The reason I took that off was because I thought I found like this perfect thing to go above the sink that would help with storage and keep stuff off the counters. And this is what it was. It was, I thought, man, this is like a great idea because it can go in a corner if you have a corner in your bathroom or it can go straight out and go above the sink. And this would probably work, but I do have a peel and stick tile above my sink. And the more and more I thought about it, it goes on with these sticky strips that slide in and secure it. Well, I started thinking if I put heavy stuff in here, it's gonna peel off my tile. That is a very possibility. My tile has never come down. I've never had a problem, but I've never tried to hang a shelf from it. And I'm afraid that that would pull my tile off. So because of that, I am not gonna use this. I did wanna show this to you because I thought this would be like a great idea. Like if in our shower, we have rounded corners, so this won't work. And over by our sink is a rounded corner. I don't really have a place that this would work for us. When I ordered it, I thought it was gonna be like the perfect thing for our bathroom, but turns out it's not gonna work in our bathroom. And also, I got this from Amazon, but it took like two weeks for me to get it. It was crazy amount of time. I will link it in the description box if it's something you think you might be interested in, but again, it would not work for our bathroom. Now I do have some shelves that I built on each side of our cabinet. I built it pretty much out of all Dollar Tree items. I bought one piece, two pieces of wood that was not Dollar Tree items. The little boxes came from Dollar Tree. I have a video and I will link that up here. I put it up with nano tape. Obviously nano tape works very well if it can be too good. I put it up with nano tape and it has really held. We put our deodorant on the sides. We put our medicine over here and like anything that we need to put in these little baskets on the side of the cabinet. And it gives us extra space other than just inside the cabinet. I love these little shelves. Shelves that you can put up on the wall are even great. 
I have a little shelf over our toilet. We could put things in there if I wanted to do that, but I've just got decor in mind because we don't need all that space because we actually have a lot of storage space in our camper. In the shower, the biggest thing that I think you can do is they make little shower caddies that suction cup to the wall and I have tried a bunch of different ones. I will link these are my favorite. They're the only ones that have actually stayed on the wall. I think I've had them now like two years and I've only had maybe once or twice that one of them popped off but then I just screwed it right back on and it has stayed. I love having the baskets. It gets stuff up off the floor of the shower and art. We have a seat so like what would happen before I put those up there is everything would end up on the seat in the shower. We have little shelves in the corner, but they just don't work really well. They're small and you can't put much on them. But these baskets that I've gotten, they really make a big difference. And on travel days, I do not leave my shampoo and stuff in these baskets. I have a basket that's up under the sink that I get out. I put all of it in and then I put that up so that on travel days, it is not in here because I've had some of it jump out before I have tried to travel with it. Another thing that I think helps with organization and getting things out of the way in the bathroom are hooks. I think that it's great to have a lot of hooks that you can put your towels up on or hang things on that you need. I've also got a basket that I've hanged on one of my hooks that has like wash rags and different things in it and I love having that because that gives us extra space and it's out where you can grab it pretty quick. Inside the cabinets to get organized, because these are super deep cabinets, I added wire baskets that you can pull in and out. And then in front of those, I put baskets so that I can store things on there because inside these cabinets that we have, everything would get lost in the back and I would never see it again. So having the pull out baskets, I can pull the item to me and I never lose things in the back of the cabinet. Inside your medicine cabinet in the RV, I've gotten little baskets. They're fridge baskets from the Dollar Tree. I love them. I like to put things in there so that things don't fall out when you open up the cabinet and it keeps everything organized. If you had things that were metal that you kept inside the cabinet, they make like a little magnet strip that you can put those on, like fingernail clippers and stuff. I have a drawer in the kitchen that's kind of our it's not junk drawer but it's kind of like our junk drawer it has like my scissors and it has fingernail clippers and stuff in there so i don't have them up here but that is a great thing if you have bobby pins and things like that that you need to get up and out of the way there's a lot of wasted space in here that we don't use that if you had something that you could put a magnet in there and you had things to store that were magnetized that would work really well in here. Another thing that I've done in the house that would work great out here is I have gotten a couple of little baskets that I had gotten at the Dollar Tree and I took command strips and attached them to the inside of my cabinet door and then I made sure I positioned them so that when you close the door they don't get in the way of anything in there. That actually gave me a lot more space in my house. We have tons of storage in here that we we don't use all of if we full-timed yes we would use every bit of this but because we just weekend we don't but i have a video on where i made those and showed y'all how to do that i will link that video for you now another thing that you can totally help you add a lot of storage to your bathroom is you could buy like you can even get them at the dollar tree is a shoe organizer like it's an over the door shoe organizer if you had place and i know a lot of rvs probably have more space we just don't have enough space here but like you could hang that here we could even since i have the shower curtain i could hang this here and then i could keep store stuff in there and then put my shower curtain over the top of it so that you don't see that but i have seen a lot of people they use the shoe over the door shoe organizers to store stuff and keep it out of the way and if you have a door our door is a pocket door but if you had a pocket door you could even put it on the back of the door that's in your bathroom another thing that i had bought i cannot find them anywhere i bought them while the camper was at the hunting club 
and I guess I've put them up somewhere. They're these little round pieces that's got four little balls on them and like they would hold like your toothbrush and stuff in here because I wanted to hang it up inside our medicine cabinet so that I could put my toothbrush and stuff on it. I never did take it to the camper and now I've lost them. I have looked everywhere all day today to try to find them and I know I had them somewhere. I think they would be so cool. I hope this video helped you get some more tips and tricks on getting some more counter space and organization in your bathroom. Till next time, like and subscribe.